Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Scorpios. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is going to be a what's coming towards you forecast for now until the end of November. So we're going to get straight into it. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Crystal. This is Mystical Crystal Tarot. I do strictly tarot readings here, sometimes astrology and stuff like that, but um, mainly tarot. So if you're interested in seeing more of my videos, make sure you subscribe. You hit the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I post in the future. And also like the video. But if you would like a personal session with me at any point, um, my information to book a session, my official website will be listed in the description box. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into the reading. We're going to pull, we're going to do a layer. So we're going to do a four card spread. We're going to pull cards from my Golden Girls deck. I just got this like yesterday. We also are going to be using the Moonology cards as well. And then at the end, we're going to pull a card from this deck and see what the overall message is for you guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. And oh, yeah, happy birthday to my Scorpios out there as well. I hope that you guys are enjoying your birthday and you guys are ready to basically start a new cycle in your life because birthdays is like basically a solar return or it is a solar return not basically but it is and it's a, a chance for you to actually get some new energy pop in so let's get into some things scorpios what energy is coming towards them give me a four card spread OMG, hold on, guys. The cards are falling all on the floor. Okay, and then let's shuffle from here. What energy is coming towards them? Okay, so let's get into it. The first set of cards is basically going to represent what you should leave behind in the month of November. So we have a win-win outcome is forecast, okay. And we have this clarified by the Hermit card. The second set of cards is going to represent what you should bring into the second half of November um, to kind of aid in your month being better for you overall. We have have faith in your dreams and we have it clarified by the Ten of Cups. The third set of cards are going to be what challenges you may face. We have be bold and make the first move. OK, and we have it clarified by the King of Wands. And then the last set of cards is going to be how you can make the most of the month overall. And we have it represented by communication is key and it's clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. So let's talk about this energy. So right off the bat, I'm getting a theme here based off of how these cards are coming out. So let's talk about it. So first set of cards, what you should leave behind with a win-win outcome is forecast in the Hermit card. For a lot of you guys, you either have removed what energy is no longer serving you at this point, or for some of you, you've actually came to the conclusion as to what that may be and what that looks like. Um... Yeah, let's do it like that with the circumstance here with the hermit card being here. This is letting me know that some of you guys are going through this process of having to really dig deep and figure out what your desires, your ultimate desires are and what's going to make you feel fulfilled regardless of what's going on like around you, what's going to make you feel happy as you okay with the win-win solution card here for a lot of you with you releasing certain things out of your life you've basically stepped into a new cycle of energy and for a lot of you who may be questioning whether or not it was a smart move 
there's a win-win situation. So you leaving this situation, this relationship, this job, person, place, or thing, again, it's going to be different for each and every one of you. You are going to come out a winner regardless. And even if you're struggling right now to quite come to some sort of conclusion on what to do, understand that spirit has your back, especially with this card showing up in this position. This is letting you know that, look, karmically, things are meant to happen and they're happening for a reason, but still spirit is going to protect you in the outcome. And for a lot of you, just taking a moment to really, like I said, come to center, shine a light on things that you really weren't paying attention to for a while here. Especially if you are feeling like you're in a dark place, this is going to help you. Okay. But to, to kind of get into detail, a lot of you have already kind of left certain things behind and you're not carrying it into a new cycle moving forward. Okay. Even if you've left it, or even if you didn't leave it per se, it left you. So this could be you getting fired from a job or somebody breaking up with you. That was a win-win situation for you regardless. Now, the second set of cards are going to be what you should be bringing into the second half of November. We have have faith in your dreams and we also have the ten of cups so for some of you you need to have some faith some of you are losing sight of having faith in the divine because things may not be moving the way that you would like it to um as far as like in your career others of you it's more in the terms of your love life you may not have that much faith in your love life and trusting other people and wanting to even go down that route because you may have gone through certain experiences but spirit is telling you to have faith okay some of you also it may be your family situation where things may be out of balance and Spirit is trying to explain to you, like, look, have faith. We're going to cover you regardless, and things will start to kind of make sense overall in regards to why certain things are coming up and why certain issues are um, relevant. But, um, yeah, for a lot of you, what you need to bring into the second half of this month is faith in the divine and also focusing on your sense of happiness and Figuring out exactly what that looks like for you as well in regards to relationships, your career, just your overall life. What would you like it to look like? OK, now the third set of cards are going to be what challenges you may face. And we have um, be bold and make the first hold on, make the first move. And we also have the king of wands which is so interesting this is represented by the cardinal moon and we're thinking about cardinal energy we're thinking about big boss energy right we're thinking about um you know how they say aries i think cancer what other sign um libra and i believe capricorn are like the cardinal signs and with cardinal energy, these are the, the signs that lead. So for a lot of you, you're being forced to step up and lead. OK, when it comes to your relationships, if you're a male watching this, and you're like confused on what you should be doing. You need to take the lead in regards to either distancing yourself from a relationship or if you really want to deal with somebody, if you really want to be with someone, step up and lead. Um, if you're a woman watching this. Again, it's still about you leading the direction in which you would like to go in. So if you feel like a relationship's not supporting you, taking a step back. If you would like to see more of what a connection has in store, pursuing it more. But um, with the King of Wands, this may be a fire sign in your life, for Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, where you guys need to be assertive. And you need to possibly show this individual that you're willing to do anything for this relationship, or not anything, but you get what I'm trying to say, that you're willing to put the work in for this connection, because this person may be waiting for you to step up and lead. And others of you, it's not more of a relationship thing. This is talking about your career. It's time for you guys to get motivated and excited and get into this like, okay, I, I'm going to stay motivated. I'm going to stay creative bag, especially if you are trying to do something more in the creative field in regards to work. But yeah, it's time for you to be bold and make the first move. Some of you, you need to overall make a move in regards to something that you want to do anyways. Like some of you are not taking action. You have an idea of what you want to do, but you're not really taking the action, whether this is like moving on your own, but you're kind of nervous 
to do it because of the responsibility piece or when it comes to moving to another city, make the first move. All right. Now, the fourth set of cards are going to be how you can make the most out of the second half of November. And we have communication is key. And we also have the Knight of Pentacles. So if you're in a relationship where you guys are not on the same page right now, it may be due to the fact that you guys are not really communicating that well. So with this energy, you guys may need to work on your communication skills with each other. Or if you aren't really speaking up for yourself and you're allowing certain things to happen around you, whether that's in a romantic relationship or just personal relationships that you have, family, friends, etc., you need to communicate what you're uncomfortable with or make it clear as to what you're feeling because some of you guys, your throat chakra may be um, blocked. Okay. And then with the Knight of Pentacles as well, um, beyond just communication, this is also communication with the universe. Some of you guys need to be more clear as to what you're communicating with the universe. Some of you, you're saying certain things like, okay, I want to be successful, but I don't want to be super rich. I just want to be um, you know, financially stable. Well, what is financially stable for you? It's like making sure that the way you're communicating with the universe is clear, because if you're confused as to what you want, how is the universe going to know what you want? Like, you know, you, you have to have an idea as to which direction you would like to go in and you have to be clear on exactly what you're doing so that you don't have misdirection. A lot of times the source of misdirection in our lives is the fact that we don't even understand what we're trying to manifest. And if you don't understand what you're trying to manifest, you're going to manifest a whole bunch of things you don't understand. So it kind of goes hand in hand. Um, but with the Knight of Pentacles, this is taking your time as well. Understanding also, if you're looking for money to pick up, that it takes time to get to a place to where you're super abundant. And this is taking the time to really look at your de look at the details as to how you're spending money, how you're bringing in money, building streams of income, all these things. OK, so let's pull a card from the Queen of the Moon Oracle to kind of see what comes out as far as what's in or what's coming towards you since that we kind of got that energy out. So what's coming towards my Scorpios? What is coming towards my Scorpios for the second half of November 2020? Okay, we have two cards. I wasn't going to take two, but they came out together. And we have wisdom and we have resilience. I like the way these cards look. So with the wisdom, this is... Look at how this woman is standing on these books, okay? So, um, hmm. For a lot of you, you're gaining a lot of insight to reach new heights. Um, but what I will say is with this knowledge, it's important to apply it to your life because there's nothing like gaining knowledge or wisdom and then not applying it. And even you can gain wisdom from life experiences, but with that wisdom, it's still better to apply, apply it to your life so that it's not wasted information. And we also have resilience. So as you can see, this woman has a lot on her back and she's still trying to push um, this, this card gives me like 10 of wands vibes. And for a lot of you who have been pretty much up to your neck in stress, understand that your resilience is actually going to pay off in the end. What I will say is whatever is stressing you out and putting you in a space of, you know, not being able to keep pushing and mentally just being in distress, there is a need for you to Get that out of your life if it's possible, unless it's stressful things that you can't really remove. Now, with this card, it says making mistakes builds resilience. I have learned my lessons from the mistakes I have made. I stand strong and I'm an adult and I act with self-responsibility. And this is basically speaking to understanding that you make mistakes in life and that failing is a part of success. I always say this. Failing is necessary to be successful. Failing is necessary to even understand and to gain wisdom. You see how both of these cards came out together, wisdom and resilience, they go hand in hand in real life because with you being resilient, you gain a lot of wisdom through those experiences. So what's really coming towards you guys is 
payoff for all the hard work that you guys have been doing in regards to making certain mistakes and learning from those mistakes, being willing to learn from them and not give up on yourself as well. Okay. But I'm going to stop right here. Thank you so much, Scorpios. I hope you enjoy your birthday. And if you want a personal, check out the description box and make sure you guys like this video, subscribe and all that jazz if you want to see future videos from me. And I will see each and every one of you in the next one. Bye.